I'm very excited in this video to be talking about the muscle meter, our push-pull grip strength dynamometer that you can pair up with your measures app to really get the most out of the device. In this video, we're going to talk about the different features on the device, and in future videos, we'll go through how you connect it up to the measures app. So when you get your um, muscle meter, it'll look something like this, with the push cap attached to it, which simply sort of can pull on and off like that really quickly and easily. And there's three buttons uh, on the front of it. So obviously the one that says on off is the one that turns it on. Pretty straightforward through there. It takes about two to three seconds to turn on and then you're ready to start to get testing. And you can apply some pressure through the device and you can get your peak force to sit on there. And so that's how we set up uh, for you in kilograms um, and in peak force mode when you get it. Now you'll see the next to the on off button on one side you've got the tear button. That's the button to reset it to make sure you're getting accurate reliable data but also to reset it between each test when you use it with the measures app as well uh, to be able to get that peak force for each side or each um, different test that you're performing. The third button on there is the units. So the first um, thing that happens when you push the unit is you can change it from kilograms to pounds. So instead of displaying kilograms like before, we've got it for our American friends in Imperial in pounds there. Okay, So if I change it back to kilograms, back to a real unit of measurement and, and re-zero, We'll then show the other function of the unit button, which is um, being able to change the mode. So there are two modes on the muscle meter. The first one is the peak force, which we've just seen. The second one, if I long hold that, which is PL, is a mode where it will show you the peak force for about one second, and then we'll um, sort of drop back to zero there. Okay, so this is used for a different type of testing. Uh, we'll talk about more about that with the Measures app um, videos later on in the training portal. Um, so the ideal mode for most of your isometric strength testing, which is where it's going to be most used, is the PP mode. Okay, and you apply that pressure there, and it'll hold again. So really quick, simple to be able to use. Now, we always talked about the push cap, which is one attachment that you can use with the muscle meter. We can also get our handle and leg um, strap attachment in one there. So if I then reset that, and then it goes from compression or push mode to then we sort of apply some pulling force on that handle, and all of a sudden we're working in that pull mode there. We also have got an anchor, which you can use to put into the plinth in the room or against any inert surface, uh, like a squat rack or something like that, for instance. Just make sure you're uh, fixing that to a really solid point, because obviously when you're using that, particularly to measure things like quadricep and hamstring strength, you're going to be putting a lot of force through there. So make sure that the um, surface that you're attaching it to or the uh, object that you're attaching to is safe uh, to be able to do that. Safety is always first when we talk about our testing. Now, you're going to want to charge the device. You should only need to charge it once every 30 days at the most. Okay, there's a nice long battery life in there. There's also the ability to add in three AAA batteries into the back there. Uh, just so in case your battery does run out, you've got some backup battery in there as well. So that's a really nice feature on the muscle meter um, as well when we have a look at that. Um, you'll, you'll see that there's a micro USB um, cable uh, input there which is included in there. And you can just plug that into any device or any USB um, socket, uh, and that'll then charge your de device in through there. Highly recommend only using the cable that's provided with the muscle meter, uh, so we know that the comp compatibility is good, uh, and you're gonna um, make sure you can charge in the quickest time as well. So the full charge takes about sort of two hours to do. So really quick to charge with a long battery life, can't go wrong. Now the last accessory we've got for the muscle meter is our gripper attachment, which is basically sort of an, an outside frame with a handle with two um, screws that go through each end to be able to measure grip force. So it's a really quick way to convert your muscle meter into a grip strength tester, which is a meaningful metric for a lot of the people that you might work with. So you simply turn the device on and then you just squeeze as hard as you can and you get your grip result there. And then to get the device out, you simply just unscrew sort of finger tight. It doesn't need to be super tight, just making sure that it obviously gets a nice connection with the nut uh, the, on the other side of the handle so it's safe and it's not going to fall off as someone starts to apply pressure. But you just do it up finger tight. It doesn't need to be um, put on with a um, Allen key. Uh, and you'll get some great sort of um, grip strength measurements there. Now, I know this video is something that you've been excited to get to, and this is talking about our muscle meter and how it integrates with the Measures app. It's a really quick, simple way to be able to get great isometric strength data utilizing the muscle meter. So the first time you go to run a test with your muscle meter, it'll ask you to connect your device when you hit the play button. 
So essentially what it'll show, it'll show a screen like this, where it'll say connect your muscle meter, where you'll push that button. It'll then take you to a list of all your available Bluetooth devices, and you're gonna select the device named Matt in the list. So that's your muscle meter there. Now, it'll then take you to the next screen. If your device at any time isn't connected for whatever reason, it'll show the numbers grayed out and it'll have uh, the connect device. But I don't think you should really ever see this, but I'm just giving you a heads up if you do see that, you can hit that connect device button and it'll reconnect. So what will happen once you've already paired up your muscle meter, subsequent times when you go back into your app, all you'll have to do is hit the play button and make sure that your device is on. And so it'll automatically connect up to your device. So just make sure that it's teared and you'll see straight away, as soon as your device turns on, it automatically pairs and you get the data on there. So it's a really simple process and I'm confident to say it's the most simple process uh, for any device like this out there on the market to be able to connect it and get meaningful data there. So um, the first time that you've set it up, as I said, you'll just have to go through those three steps. It'll literally take you five seconds to get it connected once you select the Mac device. Every subsequent time you go in there, it should, as long as your device is on, it should automatically connect. Now, if you've got two muscle meters present, so for instance, if you've got one set up for grip and you've got one set up for pushing or pulling there, so uh, it's often a nice way to do it so you don't have to worry about taking the device in and given the affordability of it, um, it's really affordable to be able to add an extra muscle meter into your business. And so in that case, if you want to just switch between them, you come to the um, device, you click the device name there, you come to the device list and you simply just switch the device. Okay, and then that will just switch between the devices and then you'll get um, data there for that particular device. So in this case, just switch to and we'll see that the other, other muscle meters um, paired. So really quick way to be able to switch between devices um, and get started literally testing with your muscle meter and the measures app in one second.